Let's say someone is, is just about to take on the journey, right? And they're, and they're thinking about maybe not a hundred pound change, but like they just want to get healthier. They want to get more active, all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Where, where would you think they should start? Like someone's listening to this right now. What should they start? Hmm. Honestly, I think for each and every in- individual or person who's, you know, going to embark on the journey of health and self, um, it comes from within. It comes from first and foremost, like really discover why this is important to you. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because I'm gonna tell, it's not easy. You know, it's not easy. It's a difficult journey. You're going to wake up days and you're just going to be like, shit, I don't want to do this. Right. So if you can find your why and hold on to it, hold it near and dear, that should help. You know, mm-hmm. I think that it's so important to really find that tool um, to begin with. And then secondly, um, don't be afraid to ask for help. Like if you don't know what to do and you're scared of starting because you don't know what to do, there's so many great people out there that you can connect with, you know, whether it's friends or family who are, you know, exercise, like find resources, find people that you can connect with, find people who, you know, are going to be able to essentially help you. And I'm not saying like you got to get a personal trainer. I'm just saying like, you know, connect with people who have maybe a bit more knowledge or a bit more resources um, and build a community around yourself. Like support is key. So, you know, if you get your kids or your you know spouse or whoever it is um, into it and integrated with it as well, you can definitely find more impact out of that. So I would say those are my big three. Like, you know, whenever somebody wants to get started, you know, don't, don't fear that you don't know anything, right? Like that's not going to change your scenario. You're not going to learn overnight, right? You went to, you know, high school, university, college to learn all the things that you learned. You shouldn't be an expert in this field, particularly unless you've studied it, right? Mm-hmm. So again, it's, it's going to take time. It's going to take practice, right? Um, and be patient. <laughs> Oh my gosh, be patient. Like, <laughs> don't, don't think that this is a three month milestone or, you know, a six month, like understand that coming into this avenue really is a lifestyle. It's something that you'll take on hopefully for the rest of your life. And it's something that you constantly, it, to me, it's like a piggy bank, right? And the way I say that is because every day you're going to deposit a little bit of that sweat equity, that, that value into your own personal piggy bank. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, you know, when the day comes, you can look at it and you can see all the return you got from it, whether that's losing the weight, whether that's having the energy for your kids. Right. Like you'll get all of those personal um, experiences from just making that investment. Mm -hmm. So it's like you want to get clear of why you're doing this. Right. Like you want to get the motivation behind it because that's Mm -hmm. important. You want to ask for help. So there's people who maybe have already gone through this, this change. There's maybe people who are coaches or trainers or, or even a Facebook group might be something as well. Like you get, you surround yourself with people who are, have that same mindset of course. Um, who will motivate you.